Do EVs catch fire more often than internal combustion engines? The news tells us that EVs are the most dangerous thing on the planet. They catch fire all the time. But is it true? Let's talk about it. When you think about it, an internal combustion engine basically runs on tiny controlled explosions thousands of times per minute. So obviously, because no matter how perfectly you build things, reality has a way of making things messy. And because things like car wrecks exist, those flammable liquids have a tendency to get outside the tanks and ignite. But most EV batteries contain lithium, graphite, and a liquid electrolyte, all of which are combustible. But here's the difference. With an oil or gas fire, it takes 300 to 1,000 gallons of water to extinguish, and once the fire's out, it's done and unlikely to start again. EV fires, on the other hand, require 30,000 gallons of water because they're chemical reactions. EV fires are more dangerous, but are they more common? Estimates by the Phosphorus, Inorganic, and Nitrogen Flame Retardants Association reported 55 fires per billion miles traveled in internal combustion engines and five fires per billion for EVs. That's a big difference. According to their data, internal combustion engines are 11 times more likely to catch fire than EVs. The Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency reported that in 2022 there were 23 fires in 611,000 EVs. That's 0.004% that year. Internal combustion engines, on the other hand, had 3,400 fires in 4.4 million cars, or 0.08%. This data shows EV fires being 20 times less likely to happen than internal combustion engine fires. So here's the conclusion. Based on every piece of information I could dig up, EV fires are far less frequent than internal combustion fires. Then again, EVs are new, and the news wants to report on anything controversial because, as they say, if it bleeds, it leads. So of course they're gonna cover it more often to make it seem like a bigger issue. That being said, keep your opinions about EVs if you don't like them, but let's be fair, they're not more dangerous. If anything, they're much safer than the loud and fast cars we love, as much as we hate to admit it. So what do you think?